<laughs> You're too tall. Whatever, just... Let's get here. Going on an adventure. What is up, locker heads? We're here at Pitkin Avenue um, with a locker we won. By the time this airs, the, the guest the price the storage unit will be up. Um, we paid 70 bucks for this room. We didn't really want this room, but we were coming here for two other rooms and they got paid for, so we're stuck with this one. Hoping it's good, hoping there's something inside. Um, normally it's not a room we would buy like by itself to just make this trip. So let's head on up and look what's inside. So I see a leather jacket to start off. That's kind of why I only bid that much because I saw the leather jacket. It's called the snap on. I don't think it's real leather. Oh well. It doesn't feel like real leather. Even if it's real, it's not good. Okay, we have a bag of clothes. That's good. You want to look through that a little bit? Okay. Towels. Some bins in here. Oh, here we go. All right. Some Nike shocks that are pretty beat up. I don't think they're going to be able to sell well. Eh. We'll try. Uggs that are actually not like completely Ooh, destroyed. That's good. The inside isn't too bad either. Look. Here's the other hug. Great. They're both in pretty good condition. This is all like bathroom supplies. This is just wires for a charger. Oh, oh brass ring. <laughs> Got excited for a second. Oh, what's this? Nope, it's close. Just to give you guys a little look see at what we're seeing. Because I know we haven't been doing that as much. We've been more of just like whatever. Like, um, you know, showing you the bits and pieces. This is pretty much all that's in there. You know, we're going to go through this with a fine tooth comb. But like, we're experienced. Like, we've obviously found everything and everywhere. But we're experienced enough to know like this is pretty much just a bathroom and there might be some gold or something like a ring or something that somebody leaves this is the rest of the locker and we're going to start bringing it down and hopefully we find some more stuff okay so there seems to be stuff in here i have no idea what so i don't even know what it feels like it feels like heavy oh it's all Yay, cleaning supplies! They all like so. That's actually good though. We did need sponges. <laughs> Everything looks brand new though, so. That's good. Good for the house. One thing about, a bit about storage lockers is even if it's a crappy room, usually there's some cleaning supplies you can always use. So this clear plastic bag had this box. I don't exactly know. It was opened at some point. It's called the sack, <clears throat> but it's brand new, never been worn. Careful, the bottom of the box is not okay. So that is that, and then we have this, which is empty. Yes, that is empty. Um, let's see what this jacket is. Oh, this is a really kind of nice jacket, but it's not a good one. You know what tags? Yeah, but it's not a good brand. It's called John Loren. Like Sean John and Ralph Loren. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. Yo, I got so freaked out. I saw just this and I thought it was like bugs or something. Ah! But it's like. A nice scarf, actually. It's a scarf. <laughs> There's another one. Wow, these are really nice. It's actually a really good time to find scarves. 
Yeah, since it's freezing out. Yeah, if you guys don't know, New York City is freezing. Okay, so let me open these. Bag of scarves. So we got a gray one as well. Like a blue-ish, red, blue-red one. We got a beat up flyers or something. Uh, I'm not a hockey fan, so don't crucify me. Well, there's a few more hats, but they're all like really beat up. But at the flea market, if you know, will we ever get around to that again? Will my hips better? If we end up saving these or donate, we might donate them though. So we'll see. And there's another bag in here. Yeah. The nastiest. With Is it the mold, Undertaker? With mold. Hello. The Undertaker. Yuck. These. It's not a good locker, guys. <laughs> I feel like the guys were going to be donating most of this stuff. And I don't think. I don't know if we're even going to break even. And it's not even that much to break even on. Oh. This is part of the gamble of the game though, everyone. But there's still a lot of bags left that can potentially have something. Like this bag has something. This is all important paperwork. And we have in here a charger and some screws. Woo! Getting screwed. Alright guys, no cheating. Let's guess what's inside. It looks like a sneaker box. Sounds like sneakers. No, it doesn't feel like sneakers. It feels like either an electronic or paperweight. At least it's not right. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it's cool or weird, but... <laughs> It's Dr. Franklin's Deep Tissue Hammer Massager. Okay. <laughs> I'm into that. Get a little weird. All right, so this one seems to have some kind of box, though. Two-piece neck collar. I don't, I guess like to keep your legs up. I don't, oh, somebody was training to be a EMT or, or a nurse. So this is going to do a run and I'm just gonna keep staying up here so I don't have to walk up and down the stairs. And we'll try and find something good, hopefully. There seems to be something in here. Sorry if it's shaky and stuff. What are you doing? I'm laying this in the back seat. Okay. I think we're going to get our seat. I think so too. Back, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, this smells like water damage. Damn. Look, this was a really nice doll. But it smells like water damage, guys. Look, it smells like water damage pretty bad. This is like a portable little radio or alarm clock. Sorry if I breathe heavy, guys, but between the dust in the facilities, being overweight, having allergies, and also the pain medication I'm on, it's tough. Oh, I forget, I can't just like. So this has. I don't know. 
just wires. Nothing good. Oh, lancets for diabetes. More lance. Uh, lancets. Oh, a Super Bowl backpack. That's actually pretty cool. Right, so I started going through this bag. I mean, there was like stuff I kind of wanted to see because there's like stuff but these boots I pulled out you see that's all cat pee it's pretty disgusting so I think I'm gonna ask them if I can maybe throw that one out here just because it's full of cat pee see what they say I smell like cat pee now I really wish I had gloves on all you people that say I should be wearing gloves you guys are right, because <laughs> I smell like cat pee now. It's gross. And I'm disgusted. <laughs> I'm probably not going to wear gloves, though. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, lockerheads? The last time you saw us, we were talking about how smelly that room was. And it was bad. Because I know, um, as we were going through the stuff... And we had some high hopes on some of the stuff and clothes and whatever. Because there was some really good clothes in there at some points. Um, but everything was garbage because they must have either lived with a cat or there was a cat in the facility. Because there was, it smelled like cat pee. Everything. Like especially after we got out and everything. It just reeked and reeked of cat pee. But um, we did go through the stuff. Just to make sure. And we did find this stuff. It's not a lot. It's 10 karat gold. And it's only going to pay back half of the room, unfortunately. Uh, it's worth about 35 bucks because uh, like that's how much it weighs and that's what the, you know, the conversion is. Um, it's unfortunate, but... <laughs> hey, Gamby. <laughs> you interested? You like gold? You like the gold? Look, you like the gold? She was being bad, so we had to put her away for a little bit. You like the gold? She's gonna come out after oh, we're done with the video. She liked the gold. But yeah, um, it's like 30, 35, 40 bucks worth of gold, and we paid 70 bucks plus tax for the locker. Well, not tax, plus the, the what do you call it? Storage treasure fees. Um, it really, that one hurt though, because there was. A really, really, really nice pair of Timberlands that were drank. Like, not like it wasn't still wet, but like the crystallized cat pee was on them. Um, those Prada shoes were destroyed. Like, there was just so much stuff destroyed from cat pee. Uh, otherwise, it would have been a great room. Like, it really would have been. It would have been a seventy dollar room that made us at least like five, six hundred bucks. But it was just all destroyed. Uh, that's part of the game, though. Um, we take that risk every time we buy a room. There's actually, as we're filming this after we bought another room, and the other room had a similar problem, um, but there was more stuff salvageable from that room, at least. So, you'll see that one next. And thank you guys for watching. Um, comment below what the grossest thing you've ever found is. Bye!